welcome once again guys to this channel this is smartphone max and in this tutorial video i'm going to be showing you how to set your measurements when designing with pixel lab the truth is that as a designer everything you do works with measurements especially if you are going to print out your stops then you must get the accurate measurements else your design will be distorted imagine you are meant to design a, a banner of five by four and you end up doing it in a square if they must get that banner to five by four then they need to expand it and you wouldn't like your design you, didn't, you wouldn't like how your design will appear when you did when you when you do such kind of thing okay so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to set your images okay now clicking on these three dots you're going to see image size and under presets you see these are templates that pixel lab gave you by default okay but this definitely is not going to be enough for you there's no place for letterhead here there's no place for if a5 banner a5 flyer there's no place for banner so these things are insufficient so how do you get to know how to set your measurements in pixel lab and that's what i'm going to show you in this video okay so now, what you need to first of all know that Pixel Lab, the unit of measurements in Pixel Lab is in pixels. Okay, is in pixels. That's the unit of measurement. So you won't be using millimeter, you won't be using you won't be using centimeter, either feet. So that means anything you want to do, you need to know its conversion in pixels. You get. Now, Pixel Lab, um, for example, now if you are to design an A5, A4. Um, flyer now sorry a letter head letter head is a4 in size so if you have to design a letter head now we're going to go online and search for a4 a4 size in pixels remember pixels is the unit of measurement for this thing so when you get the size you can copy it you can copy it and now definitely a4 the height is going to be the, the the longest so when you paste this definitely you're going to leave the height for the longest okay yeah with this you have gotten an a4 paper size okay so every design you make on this at the end when it's being printed it will appear in an A4 paper size, okay? Now, what if we are meant to design fly some, some flyers come in A5, some come in A6, okay? You can get some flyers like that. So, what if you want to design like that? Don't just assume that since it's A4, you want to design like this. Go online, make Google your friend. You can also type A5, A5 in pixels, and you see the size over there. So, you can still get them here and impute then also what about business cards someone tells you i want to design a business card okay so as a designer what high what measurement are you going to use uh, before then i was using 3 by 2.5 i was thinking that was very correct on the sample i learned that that's not the way okay so i'm teaching you now okay if you want to design anything, get the size and the standard size, especially if that thing will be printed and it's not just for social media. Okay, so now um, let's get um, business card, business card size in pixels. Now you can see the size here, 1050 by 600. So all you just need to do is to copy it. Now, you know that business cards are always in landscape, so definitely that means the the, the width will take the longest. That's 1550. Why the height will take the, the lesser one to 600. And when you can OK, it appears. So, any design you make here, now when it is printed, it will be printed out in the size of a business card. So, there's nothing that you you want to do that is not online okay now if it's just for a social media flyer it can take any size but it's also good you be, you're a professional designer when you design with accurate size okay now to chip in something before i leave for this tutorial now if you want to save your flyers especially if you are going to print your flyers you're going to print your designs don't just save in any kind of format make sure you save in the highest format Make sure you save in the highest format as ultra yes that's what i do as ultra because all these um 
different um, record resolutions, it will tell on your design, okay? Definitely, the higher the, the, the quality, the MB will increase, but you sh I think you should prefer the MB increasing and having a good work than you're trying to conserve data, con conserve size, and get a poor work. Sometimes you might be designing with some low quality pictures, but you find that by the end, when you save as ultra, the picture is enhanced, okay? So definitely go for ultra then save your images okay and then if you also want to go for printing don't send your images as normal if you are sending through whatsapp okay I, I i always recommend definitely if you want to go for printing people they'll normally use um they normally know how to extract it to their system to size it before they print out but what of if you design it for a client and you, know, you need to send it to the client before the client goes to print out then well, you need to you don't just send it to the person as you don't just send it to the person as a normal whatsapp image okay if you do so it will reduce the quality so drastically let me just show you how you ought to do it it will reduce the image so drastically okay so how do you save it how do you send it across you send it across through documents when you send it across through document that's when the quality will be maintained it's not reduced at all it's not reduced at all you can if you send through normal image you see a a picture of maybe 10 mb reduced to 1 mb okay but when you save send as documents it's is the same it's the same and no quality is reduced okay so how do you save as documents the normal place you go to instead of going to a gallery go to documents go to browse more doc okay go to browse more doc then you can go to your Pizella folder and get the design you made okay once you send it across, okay, you will see this, this message will pop up. And once you send, it sends as a document, okay. And once the person takes it to the printer, it will everything be printed perfectly to be so clear, so correct, and everything, okay. So, this will show you that actually with your smartphone, you can do anything. Those using system, those using um, Photoshop, CorelDRAW, they do set their own size. So, you too, this um and this app called pixel app is actually an app you can use to do many things i've printed many flyers i've printed banners with this app and i encourage you explore more and keep following our channel subscribe to our channel to know more about pixel app we expose you more on this app see you in the next tutorial